Today we're going to discuss ward off. In the last video, we covered preparation for the form where we started in Wuji position, stepped out to Wangji, and then we moved into Taiji as we formed Peng, Lu, Ji, and An. From here, we're going to shift our weight into our left leg and open our right hip. Now it's opening here. Shift our weight into our right foot. Bring our foot in. Step out. And ward off. Let's look at that again from the side. We shift our weight into our left foot and we open the right. Shift our weight all the way to our right, making sure our line forms from the heel to the hip to the top of the head. Bring the foot in, step out. ward off. In this forward position, my knee's not caved in, my knee's not locked, my weight's down, I have a line from the heel to the hip to the top of my head. My toe, my knee, my thumb, and my nose are all pointed at the same direction. My fingers are pointed that way too. My armpits aren't closed, they're open. Shoulders are dropped. Let's do it from the other side. Let's do it from the back. From here, the weight shifts into the left foot. We open the right, shift into the right. Bring the foot in, step out. Since this is probably the best, best view to follow along, let's do it one more time and then we're going to discuss what we're doing a little more in depth. So from here, okay. So from this position, we're shifting our weight into our left foot and we open our gua. If you notice my knee, my knee turns with my toe. It's the hip joint, it's my greater trochanter turning. Right? You'll also notice this knee is not doing this. Right? My knees always stay in the direction of my toes. I cannot stress that enough. In Tai Chi, you're having knee issues. Most likely, there may be other things going on. Most likely, it's because your knee alignment is not staying in the direction of your toes. All turns happen in the hip, in the gua, not in the knee and the ankle. So we open that gua, shift. Once this becomes a stable base over here, I bring my leg in. I expand it out, shoulder width step, and come forward. Now my hips square up at the end of the movement. I'm not doing this with my chest. My weight is staying sunk down. The hands. From this position, my right hand scoops inside my left. Begin to open and push over this way. As I contract, my hands turn. Step out, and I'm reaching forward slightly. I don't lock this knee. Come forward. Fingers 
thumb, nose, knee, toes, all aiming where I'm going. Shoulders dropped up here, elbows not up here, relaxed, armpits open from the side. Now, if I was like this and I was to get incoming force, it'd go to my low back and I could injure myself. But I want to be here. So if I get incoming force, it goes all the way to the ground. Okay, we need to add one more element to this movement. We've just finished doing a ward off. We're simply going to turn to our right. And of course, nothing is simply turn in Tai Chi. So what we're doing is we're pushing as we close the Gua. So we're expanding to this direction. So I'm here and I'm going to close my left Gua and expand to my right. In the next movement, I'm going to be pulling back and stepping through. So watch it from the back, and then we'll add it all together. So I'm in my position here at the end of ward off. Turn. In this position, I turn. Notice my hands. They push in the direction I'm going, push in the direction I'm going. So from here, let's just take it from uh, the end of, of pressing down and preparation, we turn. And so from here, we step through, ward off, press to the side. Here, press to the side. Do it from this side. Here. Press to the side. So putting that all together one time. Okay, this has been ward off left and the beginning of the transition into grasp the sparrow by the tail. I'll see you next week and keep on practicing.